the Board of Selectmen for June 1st, 38 degrees here this morning in Conway on June 1st. All right. First item on the agenda is the minutes of the May 18th meeting. Everybody look at those minutes. Yeah, we have two of them. They look good. Any changes? Nope. 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 I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes for May 18. Do I have a second? Yes. Second. All right, all in favor? Aye. Yes. Clip and Robert and myself, all eyes. All right, we have the May 26 minutes. Everybody look at those? Yeah. Okay, we all, all like those, no changes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll make a motion that we approve the May 26 minutes. Philip? Yes. Okay, Robert? Yep. Okay, and myself. Okay. Meetings attended by select board members. Philip? Uh, I suppose none. Okay, light week. The same for me, John. I had no, no Conway meetings this week. No Conway meeting. But it was a short week. Last week was we had a Tuesday meeting, so that cut it short. And yeah. Let's see. What did I have last week? Uh, it was a short week. There was just a um, an update on COVID nineteen on Tuesday. Um, you know, these are this. Not much going on these meetings now, so it wasn't great. Uh, public comments, any public comments? No, no public comments. All right. Old business. Tom, we have the Mohawk Trail Woodlands Partnership grant application. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd invite Phil to introduce it if he wants to. Uh, sure. So this is the next uh, Mohawk Trail grant application, not the one that we've been discussing with Mary Wigmore and the gentleman from Vermont. Um, right. Yeah. And and so this, this is, is the, this is the Williamsburg model, right? Williamstown. Williamstown. Williamstown model, right? So okay. Big difference between those two. Uh, and, yes, there and, is. And, and um, what what I did not realize was that the professor that um, uh, from Williams College, this Art Howe uh, fella, is the actual head of the Mohawk Trail Woodlands Partnership, and I did not know that. Um, but uh, so his students will be working on this to some extent. Uh, the town admitted, the town city manager of Williamstown, I guess is his title, I think. Um, uh, town Jason, manager. Town manager, there you go. So. Um, but basically what we want to do is to be part of their part of the program that they are establishing um, and, and that any any town within the Mohawk Trail will be able to participate in it. And the feasibility study should tell us how feasible it, it would be to participate in it. Um, but uh, and the way it was prepared um, by I, I guess by, by, by Peggy, uh, was that the, the outfit that's going to administer the feasibility grant is either is going to be either the town of Williamstown or FERCOG. I think that remains to be determined. But um, what we want to do is go with the program. And so that's, uh, I, I have forwarded it to Williamstown for their review and any additions that they might have to it. Um, I, and uh, I'm pretty excited about it. We did get uh, something in there to explore the use of private property and private individuals. Right. Yeah, that's great. And uh, you know, the the one thing that we can do, John, though, is to is to have a select board to select board meeting with Deerfield, and to get them on board with a forest management plan for their hundreds and hundreds of acres of reservoir woodland holdings in our town. Um, uh, and just talk about it because we could just execute a forest management plan just for this purpose with them uh, uh, and sharing the proceeds. 
and and um, especially in them, and that way we don't have to go after them for pilot payments for their 50 years of ownership and never paying a penny towards the road maintenance through their reservoir parts land. Um, but, but, right. but, but, but it, this would be a good thing to sit down with them and talk. And uh, be, because uh, the more acres involved, the more credits you have to sell. Bill, how about the right. Northampton uh, land also? Northampton, Northampton would be another one. Uh, you know, I, I actually don't know anybody within that city government. Deerfield, I'm quite comfortable sitting down with all of those folks. Um, uh, uh, but but Northampton would be another one. We should meet with the mayor of Northampton. Yeah, I, I I know the mayor. We can we can sit down. So and um, the the time to do that would be sooner rather than later. Even though it's very early in the process, but if we can put those acres up on the board, that would be yeah, good. Yeah. For okay. Good. All right. So everybody's happy with the with the new proposal. Yeah, I didn't know whether anyone might be, you know, any of the citizens might be attending our meeting tonight that might want to comment. Well, I did receive comments. I, I did receive written comments from um, uh, Priscilla. Um, right. Lynch. Yeah, yeah, and um, we'll definitely take them into account. I, I don't. I, she sent them to you, Bob. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I'm Priscilla, on the phone. My Zoom comments? is not working. Oh, hi, Priscilla. Great. Yeah. Hi, ahead, Priscilla. I, I'm just saying I'm here on the phone. My Zoom is not working. So, um, did you have yeah. any comments? Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, 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 yeah, I sent them to Bob and to um, Phil to incorporate, hopefully. Well, yeah, one of them has looked like Phil had. You did, right, Phil? You, to use a forest ecologist rather than a forester or whatever the right word would be? I think the wording is forest eco ecologist or forester. So I would think a forest ecologist would probably be someone who has the better skills for this. And that was in this grant that we got that, that that's in our minutes, right? So well, right. I, I assume you it, says e it says either or. And, you know, so so, uh, so if you look back at that, remember that 58 page report that sort of was the genesis of all of this that, mm -hmm. that uh, the Williams College students put together that was sort of a roadmap for how to go about doing this. And they, they there's there was basically four outfits in Massachusetts that do these feasibility studies for this purpose. And they were not foresters. They were uh, the, the other the they, you know, ecology, whatever, I don't, I don't know what they were, but they, none of the titles included the word Forrester of the companies. Um, mm -hmm. uh, and, and, you know, so, so and, and then a lot of this is also sort of a desire to have the, the language in the feasibility study open-ended um, so that we can go in the direction that we see fit, you know, rather than, rather than limiting what we want it to be. But um, I, do, I do have the request into Williamstown to talk about what it, whatever edits they think might be appropriate as well. And um, it's, it's definitely not a finished product yet. So. Uh, All right, know, we want to approve the version that we have in front of us? Sure. All right, I'll make a motion that we approve this version uh, subject to any any amendments that may come in from uh, other interested folks. All right. Do I have a second? Sure. Thanks, John. Okay. Philip. Yes. Uh, go around for a vote, Philip. Yes. And Bob. Yeah. And myself. Okay. We're Great. all done. Great. Okay. Next item is the town meeting warrant. Thomas. take myself off mute here um, they, uh, the amendments were flying fast and furious last week um, uh, and unfortunately I'm still missing one section which is the numbers um, for the uh, community preservation reserve 
pieces. Those are the 10% and 5% of the estimated um, uh, CPA revenue for next year. I'm expecting those from the accountant at any time. Uh, I've let him know it's urgent, um, uh, but unfortunately we do not have those yet. So what I would, uh, because those are more or less a technical, um, we just plug in whatever the, uh, the accountant estimates, and it says estimated right in the article. Right. Um, yeah. Uh, I would ask for approval uh, of the warrant ultimately, you know, after, after making sure everything is, is the way we want. Um, uh, a vote to approve it um, uh, anyway. So I'll just mention that right off the top. Yeah, well, that 10% um, that, that for each of those is standard each year. So. Yes. Yeah, it's mandated. Yes. Um, the, the, the only thing is, yeah. Uh, so I, um, sorry I don't have those. He's been working very hard on on expenses, I'll have a little bit more to say on that uh, in my update. Uh, I believe all of the numbers in Article 2 are correct. Now, the first version I sent out had the FY 2019 numbers repeated in the FY 20 column, just a copy and paste error. So the numbers should be the same for that now. And uh, the select board has already done almost all of the recommendations for the articles. Um, I believe John had a, was proposing a change in the order of, he wanted to switch articles six and seven to put the uh, transfer from general stabilization before the transfer from free cash. Is that right? Yes, it is. Yep. That gives us more flexibility, I think. Uh, if no one has any uh, other preferences about that, I'll be happy to make that change. So, can, um, for, go ahead. So, can I just take you back to articles three and four? And uh, I don't know, given the latest iteration of the Frontier and Conway Grammar School budgets, whether those were still in the offing. Have Have you confirmed this with anybody at the school, Tom, in the past week? to see whether we still want those in the warrant? Um, no, all the discussions that I've been seeing have been about the operating budget. Um, so the, the capital expenses would come from capital stabilization. So um, I, I didn't see any reason to change that. And the, um, the frontier items come from Conway's free cash, only, only 8,000. If, if they don't use it, I mean, they, they don't use it. It just, it just doesn't go anywhere. Um, free cash would revert to free cash. And if they didn't use their own capital stabilization funds, then we wouldn't need to, uh, uh, we, we wouldn't need to change that at all, but they would be authorized to use them if they, if they wanted. Could we just withdraw the articles at, on town meeting well, floor if we don't need them? I mean, yeah, if, uh, yeah, he certainly can. They certainly can. Um, I'm not sure whether the school committee actually took a vote on these things. We talked about them. We voted the operating budget. Um, well, there's plenty of time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, you know, again, it, it's, it, it would simply be an authorization. And I did not receive any request to take them off. I'll put it that way. They have the money in there. Uh, Conway Grammar School has plenty of money in stabilization, and eight thousand is not a lot off of our free cash. Okay, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we can always we can always you know if, it, if it's okay, I'll send them in, a town meeting. Yeah. If, if it's okay, I'll send an, out an email to them tonight, and if they call tomorrow morning and ask for it to be lifted off the warrant, that's not too late, I would imagine. No, or we can just pass them over. Yeah. yeah. All right. I, I, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to deny it to them if they're expecting it. All right. And and again, I have right. not heard anything about taking it off. These were early requests. Yeah, I know. 
Back yeah. in the carefree so. days. Tom, yes. For, art yes, indeed. for Article yes. 6, we're about borrowing 200000 Wouldn't that want to say borrow up to 200000 yeah, we can know because like the, the, the the authorization is a maximum. Okay, and we and it wouldn't necessarily be borrowed anyway. We would still use of these three items. We would still only use whatever was needed. Right. If, if I was reading this, I would feel this article is authorizing us to borrow, I mean, is telling us to borrow 200,000. And that, that's the way it reads. And that's not what, you know, even, even if the intent is that we, it means, means that, why don't we say that? And um, we could, ex we could explain that uh, at, at the meeting. Um, it's cleaner this way. The, it, it, it really is. Um, DOR prefers it. It's, it's a hard number. Um, and um, yes, yes, well, you know, I'll be happy to explain that. Okay. Okay. Um, it, it, it is any, anything on this warrant is only authorized. It's up to the select board to implement what town meeting authorizes. The select board can choose to, to implement or not implement anything the town meeting authorizes if it comes to that um I, I would hope that it you know did unless there was some extreme extenuating circumstance um so but so the authorization is it means up to it 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 is that 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 is the intent um but Yeah, it's it's just it's preferred. That's that's all I can say. From all I've from all I've learned, it's preferred to just to have a simple, clear number, with the understanding that that um, not more will be borrowed than is needed. Yeah, that's the way DOR likes it. I have a hard time with that. I do. I, I agree with you, Phil. I, I think anytime you're explaining, you're losing. <laughs> Uh, it's not be... just that. It's just that when, when when you're explaining something and it's sort of it's not in alignment with what the words say that are written, that's that's not so good. Um, it it is in alignment. The question is, what does authorized mean? It means that's how much can can be borrowed, not will. No, nothing on this says says this. Nothing that says authorize says this is. This will happen. It's just giving the authority. And but so 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 to me, everything that you said as a reason to just keep it the way it is is also a reason just to change it to up to. It's it, it's it can say up to, and then you can still borrow two hundred thousand. I, 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 um, well, I can change it, but it's not good financial practice. I, I, I'd still love to see it change. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, uh, well, I would too. So <laughs> let's make a motion to change right, that. Tom, Tom, let's let's change that, and uh, we'll you know DOR will just have to accept it. Yeah. All right. Any anything else um, that we haven't looked at before? Uh, yeah, there's the um, article 25 is depositing snow in roads. Right. Uh, this would allow, uh, if people are causing trouble on Conway roads, this would allow um, Ron or some other highway worker to call it in and have the owner talk to about it. Right now, we can't do that. Okay, I agree with that. Robert, Philip. Yeah, I mean, I thought we talked about this in a select board meeting some many months ago. We did. Yes, we did. We, you we did, did not make a recommendation. Official form. Uh -huh. Okay. 
Philip, you okay with that? I am. Or do you throw your snow on the road? I do not. I am a responsible <laughs> resident. I shovel it by hand, though. My driveway is so small, I shovel it by hand. All right. Okay. Uh, we're well, I would appreciate a, a vote on that. Do we have a recommendation on that? Are all yes. in favor? Yes. All right. I'll make a motion that we, we approve Article 25. Do I have a second? Yes. Okay. Philip? Yes. And Bob? Yeah. And myself? Yes. 3-0, Tom. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, I will note that we did not receive um, a final article from John Moore or Lisa Gustafson uh, to repeal um, Section 11 of the Protective Bylaws, the Marijuana Bylaw. So, uh, I thought I in, the, that in the hearing they said that they had decided not to do it. I mean, it's, they didn't just, you know, it's not that they didn't submit it. They, they, they decided not to. Okay. Well, it's not going to be in the war. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Six and one half dozen of the other. Yeah. And anything else on this, Tom? Um, I do not have anything else on this. Again, I'm sorry I don't have those community preservation numbers, but Mike's been absolutely jammed on other stuff and, uh, and has not been able to get them to me. A recommendation on Article 26. Well, we talked about it. Yeah, we talked about this a way back, right? Uh, the last I knew, the select board decided not to ha not to make a recommendation on it. Right. Yes. Yeah. That's because at the time there wasn't anything submitted. Now there is. I mean, this is an formal at the time. Oh, they were. They were. Um, Yeah, that, that was during the period when they um, had had floated one petition and then there was the public meeting and they but but this is this is that original. This is the only petition they've submitted. And they're not they're not going to submit another one at town meeting. They, they said that at the at the hearing. So so now that it's a warrant article, we make a recommendation on it. So let's vote on it. All right. Is everyone in favor of Article 26? Philip? No. No. Okay. So let's make it. Okay. I'll make a motion <laughs> um, to um, recommend Article 26. Philip, you say no. Right? Right, but you're a yeah. no. You're a I'm no. A, you're a no. I'm a no. I'm a no. So we have two no's and a yay. I'm a yay. Okay. Okay. All right. So all right, one to two. One to two. All right, and um, just to be clear, Bob, I'm not sure you have uh, the final version that I sent out um, based on your saying that the borrowing was Article 8. I sent out uh, another one after that um, where I, uh, on Jan's request, I put Article 8 after the other two, um, the free cash and, and the general stabilization and free cash articles. So. Um, I believe that concludes, except for plugging the numbers in for CPA, I believe that concludes the uh, select board's recommendations on the warrant. Great. Have we gotten them yet from the finance committee? 
Cal. They met at Cal. at five o'clock. Uh, they may still be meeting. Okay, great. Um, great. I I am hoping that they will come and report their recommendations as part of this meeting. Um, and that's all I have for that. They're, all right. They're Any supposed to be coming on, in in a few minutes. No other questions on the warrant? Okay. Tom, what about the request for, for the, uh, the Guilford Fund? Uh, yes, I do not have a request ready. I requested a, a quote with a number attached to it and have not gotten one. All right, then that's table. Yeah. All right. Um, we don't have the finance committee quite yet, so uh, do you have any uh, items unanticipated? I do. No, you do. Oh, okay. I, so um, just I've been approached by a um, number of people in the past two days, today especially. Uh, isn't there some way that we can allow seniors and others that are not internet savvy to get their new trash sticker without having to buy it online? Can't we establish some mechanism for people that do not, that do not own a computer and have no wish to uh, interact with newfangled electric machines? <laughs> uh, they, can, uh, they can come to the treasurer's office. Uh, apparently yes, they can. They can come to the treasurer's office and buy it. So uh, apparently yeah, right they, now they, they, they either no, online they can. or they, they just to Jan. They, they they should call Jan and make an appointment to come in. So yeah, you can call the treasurer and and make an arrangement. Okay. All right. Is there a reason why people don't know that? Is Do we have that on the website, Tom? There's a there's a sign posted at the uh, at the transfer station that says. All right, is that is that good? Sure. Okay. Yeah, it's um it, it's it's not um, it's not currently on what 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 the uh, what the board of health posted on the website. So I can um, I can work on correcting that. Okay. Can I pipe in here? What? Why can't they just buy it by oh. mail? I suppose they could do that too if they talk to Jan. <laughs> okay. Tom, do you have an update for us? Uh, why, yes, I do. Uh, all departmental news. Uh, Sue Antonellis from the Deerfield Recreation Department says they're planning a parade for Frontier Seniors on Friday at 6 p.m. and are asking people from all the Frontier towns to line the streets, properly distanced, between the highway garage and the high school and bring noisemakers and other celebratory items. Okay. And I'm... I'm working on closing out the hazard mitigation plan update grant. Remember that? It's still not done. I'm working on closing it out. I filed the final quarterly report with MEMA as part of that. Oh, great. Uh, the Conway Grammar School let me know that the total cost of the kitchen equipment replacement included plumbing and electrical costs not tallied with the main bill I got. So I filed a supplemental request with the Finance Committee for a transfer from the Reserve Fund which would almost entirely use the remainder of that fund. Okay. I have learned that Nick Filler will not be available for the June 20th town meeting and have notified the town clerk that she will have to conduct an election at the start of the meeting. Uh, in a very interesting news, the Pioneer Institute's COVID-19 unemployment tracker shows 21.7 percent or 236 people in Conway unemployed as of May 16th 
as opposed to 1.9% or 21 people on March 14th. So 21 to 236 in two months. We can be thankful there are good unemployment benefits during the pandemic. Uh, the forest steward yeah. The forest stewardship survey has 87 responses exceeding expectations. 20 people attended the townwide workshop on Zoom last Monday, a one and a half hour presentation followed by questions and answers and breakout groups that discussed stewardship activities. I think you mean Field last, work is last done. Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. Yes, last Tuesday. Mm -hmm. um, that discussed uh, field work is done and consultants look forward to getting the select board a rough draft of the plan. You should have gotten some uh, good looking at the latest, some, sorry? You should have gotten some good information with 87 uh, responses. Oh yeah, I think that's one of the reasons they're, uh, they're uh, still in the rough draft stage of the plan. <laughs> Uh, All right. Okay. Looking at the latest expenditure reports, the select board and assessors need some year-end transfers into their accounts, $891 and $1,329, respectively, totaling $221,000. I've asked the accountant for guidance on best practices for addressing the imbalance. I believe addressing these will take votes by both the Finance Committee and Select Board sometime before July 15th. And there could always be more accounts to balance by the end of the year, but everybody else looks, uh, looks pretty well set. There are, there are several accounts that have uh, considerable extra money in them that we can take it from, but I, I want to know if there's any particular guidance from the accountant before uh, proposing that. Uh, so that's my report. Thank you, Thomas. Um, okay, let's see, it's 6.32. Uh, Roy, are we expecting the rest of the Finance Committee? Roy is not quite there yet, huh? Roy was here. No. Yeah, he's, he's still here, but he's away from his uh, monitor. So just, just to follow up on what Tom said, just about the parade for graduates, what, one of the things that's going on in, in our town now is the uh, ambulance and uh, fire and police go to uh, kids at the grammar school. Uh, they, dr they do drive-bys for their home on their birthdays right now. And because the kids are not able to have birthday parties. Um, and and uh, I actually joined one of them last week and uh, tailed along at the end of it in my truck and thought it was just the saddest thing really just to see a little kid holding hands with his mom at the side of the house and that that was the birthday party. And uh, uh, it's, a, it's just one of those little sadnesses about this whole pandemic that you don't really think about. But, uh, you know, all, a whole generation of kids is going to remember this spring as birthday party, uh, uh, as the non-birthday party spring. Well, I well, believe like, the governor is when it's over. Be a lot of parties when it's over. You know? The governor has canceled that, Phil, that, that police stations are no longer supposed to do that. Really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, just just one final note on the warrant. I will let you all know when I have those CPA numbers and I will uh, print out the warrant when I have them and have the day of their being approved that day. And then uh, John and Phil, let John and Phil know they can come in and sign it. And I'll let Ron Hawks know he can post it and Lisa can send it off to the printer all of those things happen. Um, but um, I, so I'll just let you know when I have those final numbers from, uh, from Mike. Okay. Great. Uh, Roy, are we expecting the rest of the committee? Well, Tom Donovan, we're not expecting. Um, Alan, I believe we are. And um, possibly Rihanna. She was at the meeting we just uh, concluded. There were actually four of us there. Okay. Um, and did you guys make recommendations on the, uh, on the articles? Yes, we did. Okay, great. Yeah. All right. All right. Did well, we just get them from Roy and that would, I mean. Well, I, I, I don't have them. I could tell you the only, uh, I'll tell you, uh, okay. Uh, the, the only controversial 
I guess you would say. Um, trying to, yeah, there was a, the only highway department we 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 recommended. We didn't recommend that article because we want you to replace it. Just the truck, not the other items. Um, Hello, the, Alan Singer's here. Hey, um, Alan, how are you? All right. Uh, I, I couldn't get onto the uh, Zoom link from the my computer, so that's why I'm calling in by phone. We're all on it. So anyway, so I'm doing the audio part. Great. Okay. Yeah, Roy was just explaining um, your your recommendations. Well, yeah. I just I just started. Uh, you you can uh, start from the beginning, Alan. All right. So for Article Two, we voted unanimously in favor. Uh, is that is unanimously now four to zero? Correct. We were four attendees. We were fully present. Okay. Article three, we voted four zero in favor. Alan? Article four. I'll put this, by the way, in an email to you and Lisa Tarowski tomorrow, Tom Tom Hudson, just to let you know. Uh, when I'm in my minutes. Article four, we voted four zero in favor. Article five, we voted uh, four zero in favor. Make sure you send those minutes to Lori too. Laura and Lucy, okay, we'll do. Article six, we voted. Uh, oppose 04. We, we don't want any cap on the borrowing limit at this point. Okay, so that's for the borrowing article, zero to four. Oh, correct. Article six, correct. Correct. Oppose, correct. We unanimously oppose. Well, well, you hold it. Unanimously opposed? Correct. In other words, we don't want a borrowing limit on it. All right, what, what do you have as number six? That's not the borrowing article. Well, yeah, Tom has moved it to seven. Certainly, you have his number six. Yeah, correct. I have his number six. Yeah, I, I clarified that. What about free cash? That's uh, Article Seven. The answer is four zero in favor, and Article Eight four zero in favor. Well, hold on. Go back to Article Six. Um, it's not that so, we. You have that we, as the, as the like, borrowing article, right? In we six. just, we, yeah, yeah, we just didn't want a cap. Is that that we, 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 we didn't want to right. specify a dollar amount that a dollar amount, was that right. low. You right? have to specify wait, a dollar wait, wait, amount. You have, you have to. You have okay, to. well, come up with a higher <laughs> dollar amount. All right, all right, keep going. Article, so we're in Article 6, 7, 8. Article 9, 150,000 for the Capital Improvement Stabilization Fund, 4 0 in favor. Oh, Article 10, we, uh, we oppose 0 and 4 and said we have an alternate, which is only to uh, approve equipment for the uh, funding for the fire equipment. Hold, hold it a second. Uh, is it Article 6 and 9 the same? No. What am I, I, then I'm looking at, I don't have the, the right version open here. I guess not. No, you don't. That That's a very old version. Sorry. No. I, I, I thought of you uh, late last week. What were yeah, you doing? Yeah, and right I now. thought that's what I had opened here. Okay. Oh, Sorry. Uh, Sorry about right, that. Right, right. Okay, so, so OPEB. Article 10, 0 and 4, opposed, but we have a proposal, alternate proposal, which is we just approved the 42700 for the fire equipment. Okay, that that can be made on on town hall floor. Yep, yep, understood. So, you, so you want no bucket loader and no compact loader for this year? Correct. We'll defer this year and uh, correct. And that that you, okay? Never mind. I'm not going to argue it here. Um, so OPEB. Okay. Well, plenty of time. OPEB Article Eleven Four Zero in favor. Article Ambulance. 12. Uh, correct. Article 12, uh, 4 0 in favor. Beautiful. Article 13, 4 0 in favor. Article 14, 4 0 in favor. 
Hold on. I have a little kitty cat who likes to play with my cell phone. Sorry about that. Article uh, 15, uh, four zero in favor. Article 16, four zero in favor. Article 17, four zero in favor. Article 18, four zero in favor. Article 19, four zero in favor. Article 20, four zero in favor. Uh, hang on, that's some um, community preservation. Yep. Article 20 we have is a library, 26, 2641 to the field library. Article 21. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that, that, it's not the latest version. So community preservation. Uh-huh. Uh, I had tentatively no recommendation because it's all coming from CPA, but yeah. what did you do? You're going to go with no well, recommendation? No recommendation on article, I mean, whatever the CPA article is, I have it as Article 21. We have no recommendation. Okay, yeah. Okay, uh, let's not go by numbers. Let, let's go by yeah. uh, content okay. now. Yep, yep, all right. So authorizing the treasurer? Yes, that's correct. 4-0? Correct. Oh, and you know the uh, the road layout isn't really a um, is, is not really a finance component to it. You know, we have no recommendation. That's on North Poland Road, correct? That's yeah, yeah. I'll just take off the uh, the finance committee line on that one. Yeah, thank you. So that's the last um, last money article. That's the, well, we have a couple of more here, don't we? We have the. Uh, Medicaid revolving fund. $15,000 is spent on the Medicaid revolving fund. Yeah, I thought you already reported that as 4-0. That's correct, 4 -0 We have it as Article 22, though, in the iteration, the version I have. When you, when you, uh, when you report this back to Tom in writing, uh, you better, better be more than just the article number because... Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah, okay. you want to be avoiding confusion. Yes. What I'll do, Tom, the uh, latest version that we have is the one you sent last Friday afternoon, right? There's an earlier version and a later afternoon version sent, correct? Hmm. In other words, what everybody's looking at is the version that was sent out Friday afternoon. Is that right, Tom? Well, uh, I'd have to I'd have to check and see, you know, what time. But but let's just go by content. So. Uh, did you have a recommendation on um, the revolving fund for the newsletter? Correct. Well, four zero in favor. Okay. Uh, did you have a recommendation on on the housing committee? I don't really know why you would. Yeah, but we, we didn't do a recommendation on that. No recommendation. Yeah. Right. Okay. I'll, I'll I'll take your I'll take your recommendation line out on that. Thank you. Yeah, and as I noted to the select board, I need to get final uh, percentage numbers from the accountant for the CPA article. And when I get those and, and have made all the other changes, then I'll print it out for the select board to sign. I'll change the date of their signing it to whatever date that is that I printed out and ask John and Phil to come in and sign it. And then uh, uh, get it to Ron Hawks for him to post. Thank you. And uh, thank you. Well, welcome. So those are the separate articles uh, that we have. And now the request to transfer the funds from the reserve fund, the additional $1,250 to $5 to pay for the, uh, the steamer jacket in the Conway Grammar School. We approve that unanimously, 4-0 in favor. So I'll leave that in your inbox. I'll leave it on your chair tomorrow morning, my way, tomorrow morning, all right? Great. That sounds great. Thank you. Good. You're welcome. Yeah, Alan, Alan, Roy, and, and the rest of your committee, thanks for all your hard work on this, guys. Well, you're welcome. We had an outdoor meeting. It did work well. Oh, okay. good that it was cold out. We didn't want to stay in Yeah, socially out. distant and everything, huh? All right. Well, here we were, man. That, that reminds me, the uh, June uh, outdoor town meeting, 
Are you, have you scheduled a, a wind or rain or snow date, <laughs> if you will? Yeah. Yes. No, better. First of which okay. we get to it. I don't know why I can't get on to the meeting, but I still can't. So it must be a my and that I have a low band, but sometimes it happens. But anything else from the finance committee? Are we done? Uh, I, I, think, I think that's uh, it. Okay, gang. All right. Thank you much. Well, thanks, Walt. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Perfectly Appreciate familiar. all your help on this. Talk to you. Yep. Bye-bye. Right, sure. well, well, I'll see you in a couple of weeks. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank Bye. You. Yeah. Bye. All right. Next item on the agenda. Do we have any concerns of the selectmen? Philip, do you have anything? Well, I, you know, I, I don't really know what all of our, what the procedures are, uh, what we're doing about staffing and volunteer accumulation for the town meeting. It definitely strikes me like we're going to need more than the usual. Um, and I don't know how that's going or who's doing that or whatever, but, um, well, you know, the clerk and the moderator generally run town meeting. And we, we're and we don't have a moderator. moderator. So it's the clerk. Um, yeah. That said, yeah. uh, I am trying to get as many of the logistics done as possible. Um, and uh, so, you know, people could contact me as well, or Lori. Probably Lori first. And, and everything, you know, the the, mic, the PA system, the microphones, the, all that stuff. We're working on it. That's all FCAT, but yeah. Um, actually, it's all me, but FCAT's going to assist. Because <laughs> I have a better PA. <laughs> and there's no need to hire to hire how to generator or anything. No, Bruce says he can run electrical cords from the school. Okay. All right, Phil. You okay with that? Sounds good. Okay. Robert, you have anything? No, I'm fine. Okay. No concerns. Good. I have no concerns. All right. Tom, do we have anything else? I have nothing else. Okay. Um, our next meeting is scheduled for Monday, June 8th by uh, Zoom video conference. All right, if there's no more business to come before the board, I'll make a motion to adjourn. So I have a second. Second. All in favor? Yes. Aye. Unanimous. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Good meeting. Thank you all.